You ready? Yeah. Yay, yay. Where are we going? I don't know. We're going that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Long Island Retro Gaming uh, Expo to buy old games, to play old games, and to um, see what the beard to not beard ratio is among people who play retro games. In this car, it is two to zero. <laughs> Winner's done your drugs. <laughs> I have uh, 55 bucks. I'm going to try to hit those bargain bins hard. Mainly Super Nintendo. I'm thinking uh, a couple PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, let's do it. So, I had been thinking about, like, because I told you I only want to get, like, you know, really, like, three or four games, like, for every system that I've had and make it like the three that like kind of meant the most to me when I was playing that system but it stuck out I was stuck on Sega Genesis I knew Sonic 2 but after that I wasn't sure and I realized NBA Jam I need NBA Jam and I need Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Walker I need it like I have to have Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Walker if I walk away with one thing today it, it has to I think it's Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Walker It's all Guitar Hero and uh, Just Dance. Moving on. <laughs> Do you miss having a giant camera on your shoulder? Yes. <laughs> no. This, this is what I mean. I know. The joystick. Raiders would have to go first. Yeah, so the Oilers and the Raiders, if you hear that go off the board, they're still available. So you're going to have two people. So Mike is about to do a little uh, Tecmo football uh, tournament. Let's see what happens. Bronco. John Conway, that's a good Oh my god. What year is this game again? Anymore. Oh shit. All right, so I competed in two tournaments. There was the Tecmo, uh, Tecmo Super Bowl tournament, which I learned just like how bad I am at it. Um, it took me three and a half quarters to remember how to properly pass. And then after that, I could stop fumbling in the second game. I scored zero points, but my defense improved greatly from one game to the next. Um, NHL 94, um, I went 0 for 3. But I was really close in all of them, and I would later find out that I was in one of the upper brackets. So I feel like I handled myself okay. So I'm not great at video games, but I'm I. Me and that guy just touched bellies. <laughs> he went in and like, yeah, yeah, when you like bump into somebody's shoulder, yeah, yeah, yeah. bump bellies and then <laughs> Did you high five after? No. <laughs> How'd you do? Um. Not great, I didn't finish the first level. Um, there's really nothing else I can say about that. It's Space Invaders. And yeah. That's it. <laughs> oh no! Gaming on the go. 
gaming on the go. You can take it anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. The thing looks like it weighs like 50 pounds. You can play ladder. That's what's up. Jaguar. Oh man, I almost forgot this existed. How does that feel in your hand? I feel like I can play a video game and then I can call someone after to tell them about it. <laughs> I have a thing for uh, controllers that have dials on it. Where instead of like up, down, left, right, you just spin in circles. It's an entirely different type of game that you can play when you just have a turn dial. And it's about as re when I think retro gaming, I think I think dials. The Nintendo Play Choice is what they put in arcades so that people can try out Nintendo games oh, and then go home and buy them. Man. So they just so they had like ten. They would have it was I think it was like the ten yeah like the ten choice. So it was ten random games. Yeah. And then you can just play it. That's cool. I wonder how much that even goes for. A lot. Yeah. Wait until it winds up and then just move to the left. And then you swing back. There you go. Oh my! The holy grail. Oh, it works. Oh yeah. How long have I been playing? Seconds. Yeah. My eight. Eight. I don't think any piece of gaming and hardware has its place in history cemented like virtual Boy. <laughs> this might actually be a space thing. This might be a thing for the space center. <laughs> The cool thing about Intellivision is that the instructions were just like a little sheet and you would put the sheet over the controller because there were nine buttons on the con on the control pad so you put the directions in there and then it would tell you like what shoots, what jumps, and whatever. So there's a Burger Time sheet for when you want to play Burger Time. Yeah, the PlayStation 2 is considered the perfect console. So much so that when they made the PlayStation 3, there was an outrage when they took away backwards compatibility. So they couldn't play the PlayStation 2 games anymore. Okay. And we beat it with like three lives left too. I started very simply. I bought a copy of NBA Jam and um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on Sega Genesis. That one does have the manual. And I found Spy Hunter, which was my, one of my favorite games for uh, the original NES. Blades of Steel, favorite okay. NES game of all time. Blades of Steel, nice. I don't think I put hours into any game more than that one. And then I kind of went on a quest to find Michael Jackson's Moon Walker on Sega I had no idea that it was one of the more rare games in the Sega library. So that when I saw a, a high quality copy, I realized that it would cost several thousand dollars. So I was more than thrilled when I saw a slightly used copy with no manual for a mere $90. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on Sega Genesis. No manual, but the game itself is in very good condition. For... $90, and because I had him take $10 off if I bought them together, I got a Game Genie as well. Overall, a pretty great day for this guy. So I came in with $180. I said I would not spend all of my money today, but I did spend $160. Even the, even the bags are retro. Oh my gosh, look at that. That might be actually another five bucks. A Radio Shack bag. If you have a mint Radio Shack bag, I think it's another $90. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, my first purchase is a game I lent to a friend that I don't talk to anymore. Wave Race, five bucks. Probably my most expensive purchase, just because I love this game. $15 for Batman Returns. Beavis and Butthead, and I only paid 12 bucks for that. I got Frogger. Three dollars. Tekken two, and my fun score for twenty-five bucks. Are you worried that you won't understand the story about the giant gorilla with a bow tie, with a uh, with a necktie, and his I and mean, his friend with uh, 
and his friend Diddy. With I don't know. I feel like I feel like I can make my own story up. <laughs> Basically, I lost every every game that I played except for my last game, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. I beat Mike one time. Otherwise, I lost pretty much every game I played. Mike did, you know, he held his own in the tournaments. He held his own remote. <laughs> he, he lost a lot of games, but he held his remote. <laughs> um, Chris's splurge was $15, <laughs> and I was more than happy to pay $90 for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on Sega Genesis. Uh, as for the battles, I I was expecting to take a whooping. I took a whooping, but I learned from it. I will be back. I will be prepared the next time. I will not be going into any tournament having not played the game in several months or more. I haven't played any NHL 94 since 95. Uh, the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo has not heard the last of me. I promise you that. <laughs> Alright, until next time, this is Mike and Chris from the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo signing off.